Hello guys, welcome to day 8 of the IE Expo. Today manufacturer is Mist on Musashi Concern. And let's go check out one of the most iconic and original ships in the game. I mean, Freelancer is almost synonymous with Star Citizen and Commander. Look at these things. And they actually have a whole A on display instead of the concept, so very curious to check that out. But yep, this is MISCO Musashi Concern, and um, a lot of industrial ships, a lot of cargo. I mean, this is basically, and they kind of alluded that in a commercial for the manufacturer back in the day when Star Citizen used to do ship commercials. This is basically a Ford, Ford of Star Citizen Universe. You know, no frails, to the point, tough working ships. Alright, let's, as usual, let's go from left to right and look at these behemoth, uh, and check these behemoth out, especially the, um, the refueling ships. Right, and obviously we did vid videos on this before. Here's the Prospector, single-seater mining ship. Really, I, I love the design, good visibility, really neat and easy ship to fly. Has four storage pods for for your minerals for your mining material rather VTOL capable there's no cargo here or anything just a single just a single um, door right here but the canopy and everything is just beautiful you get in here let's see if we can manage to oh this thing's being weird that's okay um, obviously just two badgers, so not a fighting ship, but an excellent, excellent, um, mining ship, and, um, if you're interested in a mining game loop, this would be the one to get. Star for, Star for error. This thing is absolutely colossal. This is your dedicated refueling ship. Look at all the fuel bladders right here. I mean, this thing, this thing is absolutely huge. And if you walk back here, um, you can actually see, and there's a separate set of controls for it. Here is your refueling arm to refuel other ships. They basically dock and you refuel them. Definitely not a combat ship, as in, you know, these fuel bladders, tanks, whatever you call them, call them, uh, very not conducive to enemy fire. Absolutely huge inside. I mean, just to show you, you know, let's, let's just really quick go up. I think I still remember my way around here somewhere. There we go. And if you go through here, come on, open. You should be able to see the um, look at all these. I mean, individual showing capacity for each bladder, and you can detach each one. And here are your controls for the docking station. This is where you control the refueling and deny your grant access and see your fuel and that's how you set prices. That's pretty cool. I mean, um, I would imagine when Pyro will come out, refuelers like this would be quite a, quite important, quite a good target, but quite important. All right, we're not gonna do a detailed ship tour. We can do that maybe in a separate video. Otherwise, this video would be quite long. Yeah, let's get out of here. But yeah, that's just our fare. Uh, pretty much a dedicated refueler. Now this ship, I haven't 
really been in before. I mean, this is your Gemini, the Solar Fueler, and I'm guessing we have to see what is the difference between the two. I'm sure there is a. Let's see. So what is what's the main difference? Is that capacity? Of what? Let's see here. I'm guessing the Germany must be just a military variant. All right. So heavy refueling. Yep. It's a dedicated fuel platform. Yeah. Okay. So it can carry pot. Fuel pods and traditional fuel pods versus the Gemini. And like I said, I think the main difference between these two this is just a military variant of the Starfarer. Let's check it out. So this would be. Yeah. This is basically the military version of the Starfarer with increased armor and stronger engines and actually has three man turrets. Okay, so just basically a little bit more armor, bigger engines and three turrets versus this one that has none. Alright, sounds cool. Never seen the regular variant, only seen ever the Gemini. But still, um... Once pyro, it's just an example where you can refuel readily. I bet you these ships will become really important. I would say definitely not for solo play. All right, let's check out Hall A. Isn't this the cutest thing? Why is this elevated? This is almost like a smaller version, smaller version of the Freelancer. Can we get into it at all? Oh yeah. Let's see. Oh yeah, sweet. Okay. Kind of a cross between the Freelancer and the, oh I love these buttons. And, um, and the Prospector. Love the design. Absolutely love this design. Panel is nice and clean. Oh yeah, this is cute. That's very cool. Love the clean lines. Really, really rarely nicely designed. Let's see, open. Let's see what we got here. Here's your components. Okay. Uh, that's your door. Whatever that. Yeah. Suit locker. Okay. What do we got in here? Can we get in here? Oh, nice. I love that they're putting more and more of these buttons to open stuff. Oh, look at that. Nice. Nice bed with escape pod built in. That's cool little kitchen with some cookies is this functional oh that's cool it's the small things you know weapons locker nice and really sizable bathroom this is neat wow the living quarters are really cozy Go on. I keep forgetting that they put the buttons in the in this ship. Can we get out? The ladder mechanism is very specific to Misk series of ships. Medium freight. Yep. I know it says most affordable hull, but in my mind, this is the most uh, adorable, adorable version of the hull. 
I just love it. That's a very cool. I know there is a cutter, and I'm in love with my cutter. But I'm, I'm really liking this um, whole A ship. Really nice. All right, let's go down to. I guess check out halls two and three because there's still plenty, plenty of stuff to see. We gotta check out the freelancers, and um, there will be several ships on concept, but that would be downstairs on a display hall. But let's go see what we got. What we got, and obviously in uh, Musashi. Industrial and software concern has collaboration with some alien races, so those ships will be on display as well. Let's go check it out. Nah, there we go. There's the ships that M M Musashi collaborated with. Aren't these the coolest things? Reliant Mako. This is that's really cool. Reporting. Ah, haven't seen this variant before. So this variant is for reporting, I guess. You know, you still ne need missiles and guns. You can't make the new uh, report the news, make the news. Oh, I love it. This is, I guess, a reporting station. Wow, really, really good visibility. I'm gonna have to rent one of these and check them out. Apparently the transformation, the vertical transformation is really cool. And which variant? Tana. This is the Tana. A little different ornament. Missiles. Let's see what we got here. Light fighter, okay. So a little bit additional weapons. Oh yeah, that's right here on the wings. That's cool. And this is sand. I'm not sure what sand variant is. Light science, okay. Light science, obviously gone at the whipping one uh, wing weapon mounts. And what do we got here? Light freight, really? I did not realize that they made a freight version of this. Whoa! This is better armed. This is better armed than the light fighter. Look at that. Huh, and I'm guessing these are the cargo pods or these engines. Huh. Oh, okay. They just it's just wider instead of the bed and like the reporting station, you just have room for cargo. Very cool. Let's see what we got as far as what would love the visibility. Whoa. That's actually... That's actually decent ar armament. Two cannons and four badgers? That's that's no slouch at all. Let's see what the... Light fire variant brings us. Let's check out the interior of the light science one. Ah, oh, really cool. Look at that. That's really cool how each design, um, same ship, but really different, really different look inside. That's awesome. All right, let's back to the military ship. Let's see. Light fighter, bunk, not much, weapons locker, kind of spartan. Let's see what weapons we are working with. I mean, look at that. I mean, yeah, you got size five, so you have you have a little bit, but all. Um, wow, I am surprised that uh, 
I mean, I know it has bigger size weapons, but it's still surprising that the cargo variant is so highly armor um, armed. Let's let's rent one of these out. And I might just rent the cargo variant as well. I kind of want to check it out. It intrigues me. Okay. Alright, off to Hall. X for Hall 3. I mean, I love it that they change the posters and everything for each manufacturer. There's really no Hall 3. They must be in Hall 4 because Hall 4 is bigger. Let's see here. Ah, I guess they did seal 3. Alright. Let's go check out, let's go check out four. It's gotta be at four. Unless they put all the freelancers downstairs. Zenith Hall four is closed. Okay. Oh, all right. So let's see which one's open. So, okay, so looks like four, uh, Expo Hall 4 is closed, but 5 is open. Alright, let's check it out. Sir, I don't... That, have you been discharged properly? I think he's a little bit in trouble. There haven't been a lot of Expos in Hall 5. Oh, yeah. One of my first ships was Freelancer Miss, um, the missile variant of the Freelancer variety, but I've always been in love with the Max. Alright, let's check these babies out. What is this? Okay. So obviously this is just uh, your regular freelancer, the OG. Which one is this? Dur. Oh yeah. Okay. Extra fuel, extra engines. All right. So this is the regular freelancer, your base model, so to speak. Your base Ford F-150. No frills. Just throw it right there. Space for cargo. More cargo. Oh, I love that they retrofitted it with these buttons. I approve of buttons. A lot makes it a lot easier. But yeah, bunk for four people. And your re uh, nice. I mean, used to be a big strut, but now it's better. And a cockpit for four people. Let's get out of here. Actually, I've never been in the. Uh, Explorer variant, so let's go check it out. This is Freelancer Dur. Set different different weapons, different armament if you if you can see. Different missiles, no missiles on this one. Or they might be hidden. This one has cannons, this one has disruptors. Let's check let's check it out. Oh man, I'm kinda tempted to check this to rent this one um, because this is really unique and I haven't been in this one yet that's awesome so it looks like cargo area same cargo area but has these I don't know if it's place for different for more fuel for more shields but definitely seems like there's more components hidden in here doesn't really say what this is but the regular version does not have this must be fuel 
Oh, and we have additional compartments, so it is longer. Okay, that's about the same. That's the same. And the cockpit's the same. Yep, so we have four attrition cannons. But, um, it almost seemed... We'll have to see. It almost seems like it's longer. And this has to be fuel. I'll have to look this up. Definitely has more engines. Oh yeah, it is longer. Look how much it's... I mean... It's not that far front here. We'll have to compare that. Alright, and obviously, uh, the best looking one in the bunch. The Freelancer Max. Love the Freelancer Max. Look at the cargo bay. But I love the two engines on each side. It is so cool. Let's go check it out. See how the wide. I'm guessing the um, cockpit and everything because it's, it's just a cargo area that is wide yep so i guess the front section of each of these ships is pretty much the same um it's just basically the cargo hold that differs well we got we got some missiles we are back to can that's cool nice big guns uh, I'm going to have to just take this one for a spin, relive my freelancer days. And obviously, my favorite, still regret getting rid of it, I might melt something to it. But here's my favorite missile boat. The OG missile boat. This is basically a military version of the freelancer. And it's basically a gunship, or more accurately, a missile boat. You know, you still have good. You still have your big weapons on the side. You still have some missiles on the wings, but this is not. This this is nothing. This is not where majority of the missiles reside, because if you go here, you still have your cargo compartment, but in the middle here, this is your missile loading system. These are all the bit missiles. You have several sizes of missiles on here. This is your missile loader. If you look. And um, there is a rooftop uh, launch system that uh, launches and reloads. Launches and reloads missiles. Let's see what we can see. Because if we switch, see, these are the missile racks. And if you switch to the missiles, look at that they will come out and fire if you switch to missiles and if you switch back they will close so that's actually a really cool really cool feature and you got 20 size 3 missiles 8 arresters which is also size 3 so you got 28 size 3 missiles you can't you can't complain about that It actually, I think it might have been actually more. Uh, so I'm not sure if that got nerfed or not. But yeah, so 20 missiles in the loading rack with a rooftop launcher. And 8 arrestor missiles. 4 in each wing. Really cool. Alright, so this is the missile boat variant of the Freelancer. I, for the longest time, I thought these two pods would open. It would be like two size 9 torpedoes how awesome would that be you know but unfortunately that's not it must be just an enhanced targeting system all right let's go to check out downstairs there should be some vehicles and obviously a bunch of like that new refinery ship i bet you that's gonna be on a hologram display let's go check it out
I mean, is this is this a unique ship or what? I know I'm never gonna rid of my prospector. It's too neat of a ship to get rid of. And my dogs are going crazy. Yeah, let's go in here and see. Let me see if anybody's at the front door here. Oh yeah, look at these. Here are the racing ships. Isn't that cool? Razor X. A surveillance and extractions operation. Huh. Well, that, very cool. Oh, that's just sleek. That's very sleek. Are these all the same, I'm guessing? Yeah, they should be. Now, let's see. Maybe not. Racing. So, this is... This is the racing variant. And this, lady... And this is the luxury variant. I wonder... Let's see. Let's try with the... Let's let's get in the luxury variant. Wow. I mean that's really neat. Now I don't believe but this would be a pretty good parasite aircraft for a bigger for a bigger ship let's check out how it differs I mean what is the luxury variant the cockpit and everything else looks exactly the same so I'm not sure not sure what the luxury variant necessarily has to be I love this one the most And that's your racing. I'm gonna try this one out so we can do a quick video on that. Uh, oh, wow. It actually worked. Awesome. Alright, let's see what we got in here. Nothing. Cool. That's even better. Alright, let's go into the display hall, see these concept ships. Oh yeah, that's the big hull cargo hauler. Hull C. Heavy freight. That is cool. So I'm guessing they're saying this thing is really not maneuverable. <laughs> I wouldn't expect I wouldn't expect it to be. Definitely not the ship you're landing in atmosphere. Oh which one is this? Oh yeah, that's the Odyssey. That's the new, um, that's the new mining ship. Let's see, the most advanced and complete exploration ships, designed to be supremely self-sufficient. It actually comes with an onboard refinery with a built-in mining tack. I mean, come on. That is so cool. So, it's one-stop shop. Miner and refiner. Miner and refiner. That is really, really cool. I love that. 
All right, uh, let's see what we got here. This is the expanse. This is just a refinery. Mm, mining ships of misclass, but expanse is the perfect complementing mining operation from full raw minerals into sellable material. What I want to know is if you fly this and then fly the prospector would you be able to unload your prospector or a mining material into this ship without anybody being in it because if you could use this expense you can basically have these two ships park it and then have your own mining operation Especially when you're mining volatile materials, you can go and just unload it right here and then just drive this expense after you refine it and sell your material. That can work like that. That would be neat. And what have we got here? Endeavor. Science. Now, there's not a lot of really known what science will be or what's going on here there's supposed to be like these glass domes on here and all that so really i would say that's a really far out concept there was really no game loop for it now nor will there be for a while so i would say out of all those ships this is really kind of the most far out because the nuances of gameplay they probably will require for the signs of really far, far away at this point. Now, miner and refining, that that's a solid game loop that, um, especially with Pyro, I think it'd be really cool to have a refining ship like this. But yeah, guys, this is uh, Musashi Manufacturing. Um, iconic ships. I mean, really iconic ships. Um, love it. Absolutely love it. Um, love the whole A. Really looking forward to checking out the Freelancer Max. And I will see you um, on the next day of the Expo. Take care, guys.